here we are at the balloon. Now with a balloon we have various options. You can do segments. Here's the beauty about Procreate, we can just undo it. I'm afraid you won't have that luxury on the bit of paper. So what you do on the bit of paper, if you see something that didn't turn out the way you wanted, you make it work. Maybe that segment is then going to have a different size. And that's okay too. It's been a while since I've seen an actual balloon. But this is about doodling and creating patterns. And I think I remember when I first did this in my sketchbook, I did a kind of a waffle pattern for the basket. But again, it's up to you to decide which way you want to do it. Wow, okay, this is zooming in quite a lot. But let's make the brush a little smaller again. And so the waffle pattern really is getting little half circles on the top lines here. adding texture to those lines. So this can be dots, this can be can be lines. But since we're working in such a tight space already, maybe not add too much color, otherwise there isn't going to be enough contrast. That one's a bit bigger than the other one, and that's okay. So finish out the basket the way that you would like, and up here you can also add as many sections as you like. And tangling is going to be nice. And um, you can use maybe the, the fans again. Or, you know, make them a little bigger this time. then decide if you want to add texture, like I said before, either on every second arch or every third arch, just to have one piece of consistency in there that creates a little pattern. So if we take the third one and add let's say circles in it and make the circle fit the size of that ribbon. This should keep you busy <laughs> for about 20 minutes and Again, that's the beauty of these exercises. You can make them as intricate as you like. If you have a lot of time, if you need a lot of relaxation, and if you don't have so much time, you can do a little more broader pattern with, you know, bigger items that don't take as long to 
design or to draw. Or maybe you just get started on one day and then you come back to it the next. It's really what works for you. You get the idea. Okay, I hope you have fun with this one and I'll see you again tomorrow.